Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and here we go. Today's Quantum Leap brings me into the Lone Trek region uh, in beautiful white Amar. And yeah, all I do really here is I uh, explore a little bit. Let's actually get rid of that notification there. And I just found a Serpent, uh, a Gurista's watch, of course, no longer Serpent, is out here in um, in Kaldari space. Um, this region of Lone Trek has actually been uh, been going pretty well, uh, exploration-wise. I found quite a few data sites that are, are worth a surprising amount. You know, even the symmetries are, are doing quite well. And now I here I find this watch now in Galente space. A watch is not uh, that good or that profitable. Uh, to try but uh, yeah I'm, I'm just going to check these sites out honestly I don't really know them I don't know what's behind them I don't know what the potential rewards are going to be so I'm just going to yeah do these sites here and there be glad that I can get like some bounties uh, and things like that and then just just yeah check it out do a little bit of real exploration that's actually been quite a while since I've uh, since I've like explored space um, without knowing what's there, you know, uh, this uh, watch, there we go, we can already see a mistake here because I actually uh, took out uh, the trigger or activated the trigger, so we're going to uh, see if I can maybe kill some other stuff, well, they're actually out at 73, so I may yet have time for the rests, uh, if they can hit, that is, uh, this guy at 16 maybe, let's uh, see if they can manage that. Come on, everybody on him, that's better. Have shield, so I do think that the damage here is okay. I remember the watch in Galente space is actually uh, decently tricky, uh, but not really worth it. So yeah, that's a little bit of, of a problem. Uh, let's target some more stuff. Normally we should be able, well, no, actually look at that, four misses here again. So what we're going to do, obviously we're going to grab some small drones and see if, um, we can get some work done that way. So here we go. Now one's down. You are next. Take out all of this small fry here. Come on. Um, and yeah, I had, I had uh, like some some bad experiences uh, as well in uh, Amar space. I came across uh, like a, a Sancha vigil, and man, that that stuff is just brutal. So many batteries in there. I lost a full flight of uh, Hobgoblin 2s in that. Um, the the guards they don't work as well in in sites like this compared to the Galente site. So it's a completely uh, yeah rediscovery of of this aspect uh, just because I'm doing it in in different space. It's actually pretty fun so far. So here we go. The rest of these guys are actually starting to close in here as well. I, I may want to consider breaking out the guards. Again, at this point, let's see how quickly they can get past this Pitor terrorist here. Come on. Well, that's that's actually okay. Uh, so let's maybe indeed take care of these first. A couple of them are going to come a little bit close, I think, though. But yeah, Gurista's watch. Uh, I may have never done this side before, and so I'm going to actually also bookmark the loot here. Save location. I'm gonna call it one just because it's gonna be room one. Take care of that one, and then I think it's gonna be guard time once again. So here we go. Silencer that, that well, actually, here communications officer. And oh, look at that one of my hobgoblins actually under fire. So let's call these babies back and break out the guards here once again. Let's see if we can take care of this pity demolisher in one blab. That would be good. That is tracking or is that optimal range? Nope, tracking, so that should be okay. But there we go again, full misses. I'm a little bit... Yeah, sometimes it's maybe the nerf uh, of the Ishtar, but sometimes they, they have a real problem hitting their uh, targets, even the small ones, or especially the small, small ones, I should say. Uh, but there, that was a good blab there. And Dire Pity Demolisher, that should actually be okay as well, I think. Uh, and don't start on that communications officer because I actually think that's going to be a trigger for another wave if another one is incoming. So there we go. Take care of that demolisher. And yeah, if, if you see me making mistakes, um, feel free to point them out, of course. But don't worry about it too much. I'm, I'm all about having fun in this game. And uh, yeah, rediscovering exploration in different types of space is, is part of what I wanted. 
um, out of uh, moving into a C1 wormhole with a high six static and so to me this is just fun to do you know rediscovering these sites trying to find efficient way of, of efficient ways of doing them um, I'm actually starting to consider building up a few specialized exploration ships like uh, something that's better in a Mars space or something that's better in here Kaldari uh, space uh, depending on the the type of rats that we encounter um, and so yeah it's it's all I think uh, a new learning process it's fun to have new goals like that and, and to try and have fun this way uh, for me at least I enjoy this quite a lot in the meantime we are finally starting to get through the rest of them and obviously I also refit the Ishtar here with a local tank and some resistance and there we go as expected a new wave comes in and so that second room could actually be uh, pretty damn violent so let's see what uh, what comes up next I think the sil silencer is okay but again that communications officer don't want to hit that just yet I uh, want to leave that for the end I suspect that those will be the triggers so I gotta be uh, on the ball here and there we go unfortunately um, my, my guards have a mind of their own and uh, they absolutely wanted to take care of that uh, of that communications officer first so let's let's keep trying to hit the closest ones uh, here then at the moment they're not really hitting me too well as you can see my shields are actually regenerating so then an ascriber will be next if, if those frigates come closer and closer that's actually better for me uh, those are decent hits look at that at like 40 kilometers that's pretty good let's see what that renegade boom he gets one shot so yeah it was really because they were already too close uh, that uh, that they started failing and the guards failed on oh and there we go that's why my shields are actually regening they're uh, trying to hit one of my guards luckily they've got decent shields and hit points so they can actually take a little bit of that punishment uh, so yeah let's uh, go for that supremacists uh, commander's henchman that should be okay commander's guardian here as well it, it could be the last trigger i think or the last spawn uh look at that my guards doing doing awesome tanking job here uh, managing to actually stay alive and regen the shields that's pretty cool um guardian i think will will grab that next that communications officer is uh, being punished quite severely but uh yeah too bad that i triggered him a little bit early Still so far all of this is quite okay and I'm, I'm glad to see that at least these these cruisers uh, come in at a good range for my guard. So this is not so bad for the Serpentis watch so far uh, the Ishtar here doing doing a pretty good job. Um, in some other sites uh, it's actually really not the ship you want in there. It's, I'm, I'm quite amazed by that. Uh, well maybe the Guardian here first then just in case. Well it doesn't look like it's a trigger because... I actually took a few hits there but um, yeah pretty cool here um, yeah no need for me to take care of the D scan out here in high sec that's a, a lot of stress off my back as well and there we go Gurista's watch get, get to remember that it's no longer Serpentis all the time and there we go we can actually hear the uh, the gate unlocking that guard seems to be okay so yeah, I guess we'll we'll grab the acceleration gate and we'll we'll check out the next room. Here's a music I've not heard in quite a bit. So there we go, and yeah, that loot will uh, will check it out afterwards, off screen, of course. And here we go. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be interesting. Um, the distances are okay, I would say. Let's start targeting some stuff. And I think, yeah, of course, first I would like the heavy missile batteries to be gone. Hope hopefully th those are not triggers, because if I do remember the Serpentis watch, is this room, the second room, is actually quite, uh, quite a challenge. So let's hope that I can take my time a little bit. So you, you're next. I'm also going to put some individuals on these guys. Like that. Yep, start targeting a little bit more. And that's the new notification system. I'm trying it out. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that I've got it in the right place. Uh, but I definitely prefer that over the, the right corner there. So, uh, you will be next. What else have we got here? Again, a silencer. A scriber. Hmm. 
Silencer or a Scriber? I think the Scriber, I'll leave that one last. Well, no, there's actually two of them. So we'll, hit, we'll be hitting that here first. I'll also save this location as number two. Submit. So you are next. And then there's, in, in, in the Serpentis one, there is like a target that I need to hit. So that could be the weapons manufacturing plant. That seems to uh, be the most likely. So let's take care of the silencer here. Let's see if anything spawns in. No, then let's hit the manufacturing plant. Could be the trigger, if it is. Yep, I'm actually going to call them back here for a moment. Uh, because uh, one thing that tends to happen is that they keep going back to the same target. And again, in uh, the Serpentis one, if there's any parallel parallels to it, hitting that one more and more, uh, hitting that uh, that plant more and more will actually trigger more and more waves. I actually want to try and avoid that a little bit. So let's take care of one guardian here quickly, and then yes, oh my god, there's actually more stuff coming already. Let's see if I can take care of that henchman. Come on. Oh, like, looks like a pretty tough one here. Look at that, actually being able to tank this a little bit too long, to my liking. Only three hits. Come on, I need you to blow him to pieces. Keep going. Alright, that one is down. Good job. Supervisor's henchman. Oh my, oh, uh oh, oh, ECM, ECM coming in. Okay, that's gonna be a... A cool experience. At some point I may just have to start moving and running, I think. Because if that's going to keep going... Again, ECM here. That's not too good. Keep keep fighting my guards. Actually kill stuff. Yep, okay. We can actually lock once again. Yeah, ECM instead of uh, dampening. So that's interesting. Um, shields, that seems to be okay. Hitting the militant, that's pretty good. Uh, Pitum Killer, don't really like the sound of that, but do I want to hit that already? You know, I'm, I'm trying to see how I can do the site in the safest uh, way possible, I guess, as you could say at the moment. Try not to trigger too much stuff all of a sudden. So here we go, another Renegade. That should be okay for me to hit. There goes the Renegade, and here comes the ECM again, so... Roll of the dice, my guards are going to be doing their thing. They're slowly chewing through my um, through my shields though. So the DPS is increasing. That one just exploded. Supervisor's henchman. Ah, Dread Guristas. He's actually already here. Uh, so that could be okay. If, if I can take care of those cruisers first and there is nothing else, then I must already say that this watch is a, a lot easier than its uh, Serpentis uh, variant. Interesting. Gurista's watch. Okay. Uh, they're taking the right targets, I think. All those guardians. And yeah, Dread Gurista's. I think if there's faction loot to be had here, it's gonna be from that side. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is pretty awesome. And this is the experience I was uh, looking for, you could say. Um, if, I, if I would have to call it something, I would call it like Quantum Leap. You know, I never know where the exit from our wormhole is going to be. I never know which system I'm going to get to explore, what type of, fi of pirates I'll, I'll meet, uh, how busy the systems will be and all of that good stuff. And so, yeah, it's just a Quantum Leap into the unknown. And uh, then I go and do my thing, explore, try to make some money, try to experience Eve fresh and new. And so far, yeah, a lot of fun, honestly, it's, it's working quite well. Uh, there's some loss in there as well. Uh, Sancha Vigil completely surprised me by how hard it was. Uh, it, uh, yeah, and my Ishtar is not the, the right ship for that one. Uh, that, was, that was an interesting experience for sure. And over here, so far here, this Gurista's watch. Uh, is looking uh, yeah quite nice and quite doable. Dread Guristas. Uh, should I start approaching him already? I think we can afford to do that. Uh, I hope that my hops will be able to take care of him. Now uh, yeah, one of them actually under attack here, so still going after the drones despite oh my, my god, and actually doing work on them. So I'm going to pull you back. And I'll give you something else to worry about then. I'll drop an ogre on your ass here. Oops, may maybe I shouldn't have said it like that, but 
I'll, I'll drop an ogre to take care of him. And there we go, Dread Guristas explodes as well. I'll quickly check the wreck, see if there's anything interesting in here. Um, just some Inferno missiles, still 1.8 1 million. That's actually okay, way better than the Serpentis ammo. So let's loot that. I have the bookmarks, but uh, yeah, this is the experience I wanted to show you guys a little bit as well. This is how I'm, I'm doing and experiencing the high seek exploration. Everything is a little bit new, it's gonna be far from optimal, which in, in Galente's space for the Serpentis sites, I mean, the, this, this Ishtar is perfect for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and explore everything once again. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.